welcome to another episode of a Saint Vincent Untold Stories. A one resident of a Sandy Bay. I uh, said uh, that they wanted uh, to build a house for her that isn't valued uh, the same like uh, the house uh, she had. Uh, the allegations are uh, that the era representative said that uh, the government has spent a lot of money too. So Antoine Stories is wondering which money. Wasn't uh, that money sent uh, to help out uh, the evacuees? How did it become government money? I uh, told you before uh, that when the people from OTR can't uh, stand uh, the heat in the kitchen, uh, they would come forward, uh, but it might be too late. Uh, so we are going to look at uh, those uh, chilling and told stories. Big ups uh, to all of my subscribers. And if you are new to the channel, hit uh, the like uh, button, the subscribe button, and hit uh, the bell icon if you wish to see many more videos like uh, these. And you see, after this video, everyone is going to wise up uh, themselves. Uh, from uh, day one, Antolo Stories have been uh, defending uh, the Garifuna people. Uh, no matter how many people came at uh, them. And you know, uh, just uh, for defending uh, them, uh, persons accused Antolo Stories of uh, picking aside. You see, uh, we called out uh, Nemo, we called out uh, the big man. We called out uh, the professor and we call out all other people in the regime uh, that was doing wrong to them. Uh, do you remember when I told other uh, people in uh, the red zone uh, not to go back home without anything? Uh, you see, what you people don't understand, you put uh, these men there and you have other uh, power and the money and other uh, relief uh, goods uh, do not belong uh, to those men. Uh, let me tell you why we warned you over and over again. And told the stories is uh, from uh, the red zone, and we have been walking in uh, the red zone at uh, 65 uh, days uh, per year. You see the kind of walk uh, that Untold Stories did? We went uh, doorstep to doorstep. Uh, so we know who is living under extreme uh, poverty, we know who are the boots lickers, and who are the red party card holders. If uh, you notice uh, that uh, the big man like to call out individuals and organizations when uh, they come at him, how come he never called out untold stories? All he's saying uh, that uh, some people are creating mischief and about a main event and uh, so on. You think he doesn't know that untold stories knows uh, the truth? I spoke uh, to the Garifuna people as if we were brothers and sisters. Uh, you see, we did a geography in school and we know about soil as well. And uh, not only the persons living uh, close uh, to the river are affected, uh, there are others uh, too. Uh, so Mr. Big Man, uh, tell me something. You are going to put uh, some of the houses on the area representative land as you said. Uh, so Dr. Shirt. Uh, there is a river in a sandy bay. Uh, sometime when sun is blazing hot in King of Tongue and a little rain fall in sandy bay, uh, that river comes down immediately and vehicles are stuck in that. You don't even know where the river banks are because you just eat away the sides. Uh, rushing uh, people uh, to move out of uh, the shelters and uh, not uh, fixing uh, the main uh, problems uh, for us. So even though if you build those houses and say, for example, law has come down and other people have to evacuate again, then they would get stuck in that river. Uh, do you remember when you were growing up, your parents and grandparents uh, told you about a story with a youth uh, named Dung Dung? When Dung Dung went up in a mango, she feel a mango and come down back and stone the mango. So the youth and them pan the ground and ask Dung Dung, why you not pick the mango when you went up there one time? Uh, so Dung Dung say, I can't just pick a mango so, I have to feel them first. <laughs> uh, the boy said, uh, so you want me to just go and just pick a green mango? I have to feel if it is ripe first, then I pluck it down after. Uh, some people are saying that uh, since the object was placed on uh, the big man, uh, that he's not functioning right. Is that uh, true? And it seems so, you know. Uh, one of uh, the former big men uh, said uh, that he did not want uh, somebody to meet him in office because he wanted to go home and uh, spend uh, uh, time with his uh, family. Uh, but you are already 75 and you are not going home. Mr. Big Man, go on home, no. Uh, the doctor short way of doing things is not uh, the right way. 
Imagine on the 23rd when you sent her back the evacuees uh, to their homes that uh, they got stuck in that same river and you haven't addressed the other problem. You are not even saying anything about building a bridge up there. Uh, you see, uh, most of the persons from OTR uh, that was in uh, the comment uh, section under the news articles uh, saying leave them alone, go on uh, their Facebook profiles. And you would see which side they support, why they said that. Uh, you see, it have uh, people from OTR that would say, I don't want uh, to move, I have everything. <laughs> oh, uh, but you want uh, the people uh, that is living overseas, that went uh, to look for a better life, uh, to send in monies and food supplies uh, for you. Uh, so every time uh, the lumber and the galvanize come in, uh, they have to go to OTR when there are other communities and constituencies in need of uh, those supplies but can't get because every time they have to go over the river because when the floods come down and heavy rain fall, your place get uh, damaged because of the areas where you are living and you don't want uh, to move. Uh, the area rep is selling his land uh, to put you there while he is going elsewhere. Uh, that makes sense. Uh, you see, uh, you guys had a chance to tell uh, the truth when uh, the international media houses were here. Uh, you could have placed uh, the big man on BBC and uh, tell BBC what was going on all over the years. Uh, you see, when uh, the head of the United Nations uh, came here uh, and you stayed uh, silent. If you go to them now, uh, they might uh, say, but we came uh, there and you never said anything, so why now? I uh, told you uh, that regime cannot uh, be trusted. Uh, they would uh, say one thing and come back and uh, say next. As I said uh, before, uh, don't worry you all yourselves. You have one final chance. On uh, September 9th, uh, Rise Hiruna would be going out. You better join them. Uh, this is not a campaign uh, time when the big man can do what he wants with uh, the money. You all have to form a group and invite uh, one of uh, the media houses uh, to come and do interviews and uh, put it uh, so the world can see it. Let uh, them know what is going on in St. Vincent. Uh, you have uh, to stop uh, being afraid of uh, the big man. He's 75. How long do you think uh, that he has there? Uh, plus, it is alleged uh, that he has a foot uh, that is giving him some trouble. Uh, just now, he would have to go home to get in the ninth. You have uh, to bear in mind uh, that uh, not everyone would be able to take as uh, a job, you know. As uh, a big man is already 75, he has done his uh, time, so he can say and do anything. Uh, because if he takes uh, the job and anything goes wrong with him, he has eaten well and drank well. Uh, don't you see the big man? Uh, Mr. Big Man, uh, St. Vincent uh, does not uh, belong to you, and you are not a king here. Uh, you and your boy can go and live in a bit kind of land. Uh, just like Charlie and the chocolate factory. Yes, sir, man, enjoy yourself over there. Uh, you gave out uh, some numbers uh, to hire some electrician uh, to do some work in the red zone. But we already know how that goes, man. Only your supporters will get uh, that. Uh, you see, uh, the thing is uh, to you, know, even though if you relocate uh, some of uh, those uh, people and you put uh, them on the area representative land, uh, don't uh, they have to cross uh, the same river? Oh my, uh, I, I, I. Uh, Mr. Goodluck, uh, can you please call in uh, the big man uh, to give him a free checkup, uh, please? Because something is definitely wrong. Or uh, should I say wrong? A uh, man in uh, the doctor's shot. Uh, the last time the river came uh, down heavy before the volcano and uh, destroyed a bridge uh, that was there. You put a piece of iron, and that iron has been there for years, and you haven't done anything. Oh, so you are going to leave that there still? Well, Mr. Big Man, I have information for you. We need accountability for those volcano relief monies. I remember you said that you did not left your mouth in your mama. Well, you must be think I'm not a Vinci too. I told you, Garifuna people already, that you should be living like the Maroons in Jamaica. You should not even be paying water bill and light bill and so on. Uh, those things should be free in your area. Uh, with uh, that being said, I just want to big up the entire population in uh, St. Vincent, uh, the regional islands and the international countries who are supporting and uh, praying for us uh, during uh, these difficult uh, times. We thank you. <laughs>